on this week's episode of Van Haven TV, we check out Lee's van ready for handover going out tomorrow. We have a look around the workshop with some epic audio installs, a really cool Overlander TTX slash bike van, Ken's caddy, and many other things. So Lee's van has been with us now for around six weeks, having a complete overhaul. It's going out tomorrow. The boys in the detailing department have just finished doing the G-Technique ceramic coating. And this Ascot Grey van absolutely pops in the light. We love Ascot Grey, uh, particularly when teams up with all the chrome detailing in the wheels and the sidebars. It just looks so sophisticated and lovely. Lee and his family are looking for a sort of family-esque vehicle that's going to suit all of their needs and cater for all of the outdoor activities that they're into. Uh, last time I spoke with Lee, he was um, on a beach in Egypt whilst I was in a rainy farm in Dorset. So uh, um, yeah, I think he's, he's back in the UK now. We've gone for a full platinum interior, complete leathery trim, all of the Alcantara goodies on the inside and also the Digi Dash. Let's have a look in a bit more detail. And here we are inside Lee's van and it's incredibly quiet. So we've gone for a full library pack acoustic tuning. When we pull out the entire interior, we actually remove the lower dash and we'll sound deaden the entire cab, both of the driver's doors and the entire rear, all the doors and also the walls as well. And that's great because it sound deadens the interior, so it eliminates most of the road noise and also provides a great foundation for installing an audio system. So here you can see that Lee's opted for the Alpine upgrade um, and then put speakers from our comfort pack in the rear. There is Alcantara everywhere. This feels so, so nice. Really, really cool finish in the cab all the way through to the rear load area. We've painted all the internal optics um, in the satin grey paint to, to match. And then we've gone for a little hint of bronze, just a little dab of colour, um, merely as an accent really. So we've picked up the bronze in the stitch on the steering wheel, in the seats and in the piping as well. It just works uh, very, very nicely indeed. This is the back of the van. <laughs> there is a beautiful subwoofer in the back of this van. Um, there are a number of locations you can put subs in the back. Normally, in the Alpine set that you can buy, the Alpine sub is based underneath the driver's seat. But in this instance, we wanted to play with a little bit more real estate in the van. It's very likely in the future there'll be more toys, maybe a diesel heater, inverter, leisure battery, or other sort of electronic gubbins going under there. So we've put it in its own designated box in the back, and it still sounds just as good. is looking beautiful. It's in for its last step of works, which is effectively just the overarch kit going on. We've had a full overhaul. This is a long wheelbase bike van that Clive and his family are gonna use for traveling around Europe, doing biking and all kinds of outdoor activities. This will actually be their second van in the family. I believe they've got a California as well. And we've actually put in a couple design hints to match the van they've already got. One of them is being a huge orange pop-top tent, which looks epic. And I'm sure I'll show a full feature of this van when it's complete. We can have a sneak peek inside, Jordan. Alcantara everywhere, combi bulkhead, custom leather, all the toys. Very lovely looking van. We've even done like a custom speaker setup on the combi bulkhead, which we've never done before, which was very, very fun to do. But this will be an absolute adventure wagon. Uh, there's even a little dog cage in the back. So pull out bike trays, water tank, uh, air compressor is on its way in as well. Family's massively into bikes and they actually go biking all over Europe. So the TTX bike tray 
has been kitted out with stands for three bikes, um, so two adult bikes and a, a child's bike, but the family also have a dog. So they've got a dog cage which will actually replace one of the single seats in the back for the two plus one setup. So the family can just ping out the seats, leave that at home, put in the dog cage, and then the dog, the son, mum and dad can um, sit in the passenger area uh, and be very happy. We've created a, a, a combi bulkhead in here just to separate the mucky, dirty bikes and things. And then up top, you, um, you can sleep um, up to sort of two people. So it's kind of like the Matt Jones van that we built about a year or so ago. But it's amazing to see how much it's evolved over time. Um, and yeah, it works really well. I'm very much looking forward to handing this over to the family so they can get as much use as possible in it over the winter period. And this will do very well in winter because it has epic, chunky tyres. Toby, don't run away from me. <laughs> yeah, right. Good man, you? Yeah, very good. How was your finance meeting? Getting there, getting there. I'm going to come talk about some vans? I will in a bit, yeah, for no? sure. Excellent. Got another little bit to do. I've just noticed you're supporting the staff. Oh yeah, yeah, it's November, it's not my choice. No? Quite like it actually. Let's know what you think. <laughs> <laughs> cool. So we've got some massive builds in at the moment. Two huge pop top builds. Uh, Neil's van that I know Ollie wants to talk, talk about in another episode. Um, he's designed that one. So we have a very, very special camper with a furniture layout that we've not actually done before. And this is Robbie's van. Again, a huge build for us. We've got loads of audio pros in today helping us with um, all the sound system. The toys that these guys have brought along with them are epic. Focal, Hertz, Audison, all the biggest named brands of stuff um, is everywhere and uh, they're helping us with the custom install just to make sure that all of the crossovers and amps and all the speakers are all balanced so that the system sounds epic. Adam's van is in the workshop with us as well. This van is actually going to have a cream interior, uh, which I'm very much excited to see. Uh, brakes are about to be stripped and sent through the body shop as well. We've actually um, going to paint those in a custom colour to match one of his other vehicles. A few other bits that need to be painted. This is going to be a kind of work van slash activity wagon. It's had to do uh, a lot of different things. We've had to engineer the seats so that it folds down, so it's got a huge pass-through load unit. Um, garage van is in as well, so this has just been stripped out today. All of the constituent parts have been pinged out to our different workshops, so just waiting for the uh, coilovers to go on. So we're going to be using solos on this build um, and absolutely slammed. So it's going to be a really intense, statically stanced van. Uh, and these were actually Gareth's choice of wheels, which we haven't used before, which look really, really pretty. They're made by uh, One Form, and the colour of the bronze is just so rich and lovely so looking forward to showing everyone when that one's finished as well uh, our friend ken has a caddy so we've actually been playing with a couple of the new shaped caddies now um, we've got a white one and there's a red one that we just installed seats in very recently one of ollie's builds so we'll do a full reveal when that's finished we've actually got quite a few unfinished projects in at the moment um, big rush getting people's vans ready for christmas that always becomes uh, the deadline this time of year. Uh, but Ken's van will be ready by the end of the month. So Ken, uh, if you're watching, uh, bear with us. Brakes are being painted today, so Alex is just taking those off, and the van's gonna have a full satin wrap. Um, and with our friend Matt at Clear Signs, Ken and his team have actually designed custom logos and sign writing for the van, so this will be a real one-off paddy when it's finished. And it's going on 19-inch wheels. Um, which look hectic, so uh, very excited to see this one done as well. In the paint shop, we have the GTR that's going in for a full respray. So, this was taken back to metal and has been a whole load of work. It certainly has. There we go, Marcus in the background. Uh, when's this going to be done? Awesome. In Cherry Master Soul Red. Awesome. So it's all been flatted, waiting to be primed. I know the lingo. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this week's workshop update from us here at Van Haven. We have 20 brand new vans landing later this month. 
all of which are available. So if you're in the market for a vehicle uh, sooner rather than later, uh, probably wouldn't get all of those built by Christmas. But if you are after a new toy for the new year, pick up the phone, give us a call, and we can hook you up with your own bespoke transport.